It's time to reload. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome back. It's it's me, Boastra. We're here for a uh, another recording session of my friendly neighborhood. Uh, last time, we we found our way down into this uh, isolated sewer complex underneath the um, my friendly neighborhood studio, the uh, the old, old hotel studio uh, where we saved. Uh, I believe we are trying to currently. Well, let me get my map out. Uh, we are now trying to visit these yellow X's. We got to get some breakers so we can open some blast doors. What's on the other side of the blast doors? I do not know. That is our current objective. First of which we have already gotten. So I think we're going to cut back through this sort of uh, waterworks area here. God. Mm. Of course. Well, you know, we have infinite ammo. Leonard, get out of here. Okay. Oh, great. Well, we were going to have to kill him anyway. Norman. Norman, I'm not interested. I'm not in I'm not interested in your shenanigans. How do I Okay. I don't want to hear it, Norman. I don't want to hear it, Norman. Ugh, he's so desperate. He's clingy. Norman's so clingy. He's just a normal guy, you know? Oh god, I was afraid I was going to turn this corner and there was going to be a puppet waiting for me. That's not what I want. Alright, so the... The spade, not the spade, the club one goes into the first slot. That's important to remember. Now we have that one. And uh, let's go grab a boat. Make our way back to the other part of the sewers. Mm, I love a good sewer boat ride. There's no way of knowing where we're going. Really? Oh, there's a safe. St oh, that's a health station. I thought that was a safe station for a second. It is not, in fact, a safe station. The game is not that kind. Can we? Can we just enough? Enough with the ammo. This is an entirely different boat than I was expecting. Ah, this hallway. Okay. But we don't. Oh no, we need to be. We needed to come back through here anyway. Uh, that doesn't do anything for us. It's like a maze. It's like a maze down here. You think I would be good with mazes? Shut up, Leonard. You think I, as a minotaur, I would be really good with mazes? Like that's my natural habitat. And you, and you'd be right. Um. Maybe. You're alive? You know what? I'll give that one to you, game. You got me. You got me this time. I thought that... Okay, that was a sound coming from somewhere else. I thought for sure there was a third jump scare waiting here for me. Uh, but no, but last time... He fell out of the vent. And this time, he scared me, actually, because he was alive. Okay, we got that one. And we're going to find a... We taped both of the... Yeah, we did. Okay, yeah, we taped both of the... Puppets. God, George. I hate that he's there in that corner. I feel like he's gonna... Ray? I swear to God, Ray. You can just stay right there. We're gonna go... Back into this room. Um... Norman? 
Shut up. Lunch is my favorite meal of the day. I always eat the food that most represents how I'm feeling at lunch. What sort of things do I eat? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> when I'm feeling happy, I eat watermelon. When I'm sad, I eat leftovers. When I'm confused, I eat the roadkill outside. When I'm angry, I feast upon the tears of my enemies. When I'm smart, I eat everyone else's food. And when I'm in a hurry, you know, I... Norman, uh, Norman's a little smarter than I give him credit for. I too feel like if I was confused, I might eat roadkill. Sometimes that's just uh, that's just the type of the type of day we're having. Though I, I guess I should say that roadkill, like astral roadkill, is a bit different than uh, the normal roadkill. I would think there aren't really so many cars to to run things over in the stars, in between the stars. Do we? Uh, God, I don't want to go all the way back over to the boat. I guess we're just gonna finish our circuit. We're gonna go back to the blast door here, but. You know, I was, uh, I was thinking about this in between sessions, and I, I really, I just don't, there's so much lore here. There's so, there's so much, so much unexplored potential happening. Oh, there's so much potential, uh, stuff going on down here that I, I'm so excited to think, to, like, discover. What's happening? Okay, good. We managed to sneak past him again. I was a bit concerned that we would not be able to, to sneak past our boy. Do we? Oh. Can we? Oh. This must be the elevator of which they spoke. Of course there's no power. Leonard? You saw nothing, rat. Um, but no, there's just so much lore. Some unexplored potential uh, down here that I'm just so excited to figure out. I get some wine here. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. If I can put up with all these puppets, you know, we're gonna we're gonna figure this all out. We're gonna find out what's going on here. How are these puppets connected to the war? Because you know they are. They have to be. If I know one thing is about puppets, it's that they're war criminals. Every single one of them. Uh, we're gonna remember how to open our files. We, oh, there we go. Uh, so, club in first slot, diamond in second, and that leaves spade for third. Did I? It was just that banging isn't usual. Uh, diamond. Uh, club. Spade. Oh, that opened... this door. Can we remove... the chains? Perhaps we will, we will find something in here that will help us remove the chains. What is happening? In this room? I am going to take these shotgun shells and, uh, I guess we'll find out. I hope we can. Screw you, Norman. I uh, size four? What is that? Hold on. Give me a second. I'm gonna go solve a, a future problem. 
We're gonna we're gonna clear out. What? A, wait. Um, oh, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna hit one or both of these boys. That might give us enough room. Uh, I guess if we need to, we'll we'll eat the candy bar. But um, what was I what was I thinking about? Um, I don't know. This uh, this game is, is interesting to me because like it, it, it sort of really reminds me. Like aesthetically, obviously, it's a take on Sesame Street. Like that's the exact sort of thing. It is parried parodying. Um, but there's a very similar. Uh, a musical from the early 2000s, the aughts, uh, called Avenue Q, that it also very much reminds me of, especially the vocal direction of some of the uh, puppets. Oh, okay, that's not. Uh, Norman very specifically reminds me of uh, of Nikki, one of this uh, one of the sort of Burton Ernie analogs. Uh, please now give me. I was so certain. One of these mother fucking puppets was gonna come to life when I took that. But I guess not. Who made all these? And why are they here? Why are they like this? Um, we're gonna bolt cut. Is there anything else we can bolt cut? We didn't open the... I wonder if... Do I have enough room? I'm gonna try putting it in the other way and see if that does anything. No. Okay. Huh. Well, I suppose we can come back later. No point trying to figure it out now. Uh, we have. <laughs> it, uh, it apparently respawned the little chain that was on the door when I was. Not in the room anymore. Uh, back into the boat. Now we're going somewhere else. We just go through this dark tunnel and it's a small world parody. The bolt cutters might help us get through. Or into a different room. I remember there being... Ray, I don't want to hear it. You're not you're not gonna do anything, right? The office basement, huh? Is there anything else I can do? No. Because we haven't gotten the key yet. And we haven't figured out a way out of this building yet. This is the uh, the fun part of the game where I actually don't know. Uh... Ray, get out of there! Get out of here, Ray. That Ray, always attacking us with wrenches. Oh God! No. He did finally come to life. I knew it. I knew it was going to happen eventually. Sooner or later. Am I? No, I can't. I can't do anything with that. I want to say it's probably. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh god, I feel like I'm gonna get jumps. Oh nope. It's just a rat. And another cheat tape. Thank you, rat. The rat's gonna help me cheat the game and myself. Okay, I don't see anybody over there. This must be the elevator Ricky was talking about. Let it get you down. Let me tell you about the time that my friend Shoebug got 
Oh. Well, we're gonna have to come back down here later, I guess. We managed to find our way to the elevator. Now, where does the elevator take us? That's a good question. Good question indeed. Up, I would assume. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Now we have our Muppet Christmas Carol parody as well. What is this? That is locked. Good to know. Where are we? We're in the hotel still, I guess? Music studio. Okay, that's locked as well. The Puppet's Big Heist. Puppet Space Quest. Wub Bump Caverns. Thursday on MFN. The Mystic Maze. <laughs> There's the Great. Shadow Sapphire. It's starting again. What's starting again? Puppet's Pirate Cove. The Puppet Storm Chicago. The Puppet's Road Trip. Oh god. You know... Where are we? I guess we are in like an actual... This is all new territory. I haven't seen anything of this place. Burger. What does burger mean? stuff. Do I even have the room for stuff? I need a save point is what I need. Gotta find a save point. Oh my god, what are these? I hate them. Oh my god, go down. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> oh. Finally some quiet. What is what is this? Hold on, we actually gotta tape down, George. Oh, I'm not taping that down, that's for sure. I don't think these are probably nearly dangerous enough to to warrant that kind of reckless tape usage. Uh this is like something from a horror movie. The sort of thing that moves as soon as you turn your back. Don't say that, Gordon. It's gonna move as soon as I turn my back. Oh, it didn't. I am afraid of it, though. It does feel like the type of thing that would move when you turn your back. Where... Is that... Oh, that's the outside world? Oh, God, a save room. Oh, thank God. Okay, um... We don't need to heal. What? Oh. What do... Oh, I'm done with the bolt cutters. Perfect. Done with the bolt cutters. So now we should be able to... Grab this velvet mask. Uh... Oop, oh, token. Good. A rat with a cheeseburger. Good. Good to see. You love to see it. You love to see the rat with the cheeseburger. Uh, and we're gonna shove some of more of these tokens away, I think. Like, we just end up having too much stuff. And I wish we knew. I wish we knew where to find uh, the map for this area.
It's a nightmare. No! Oh god, they can't actually attack you. They were a bit more dangerous than I gave them credit for. Small puppets. Terrifying. More terrifying than large puppets, that's for sure. Uh, now, we'll pick up all those materials. Of course the bell didn't bring anybody. Uh, Big Norman. Where? Locked. Of course it is. Norman, or not Norman, Gordon, this is a, this is a horror game. You, you have to expect that literally every single thing is going to be locked. Oh, right, that's the other way we came from. We could go down here and see what's in this room. Is there... Oh, there's an elevator. What am I looking at? What am I looking for? Ooh. More things on the war. This time we have a reflection on the war by Gen E. Rogers. On a war. The reflection. Last month marks seven years since the end of the war, so it seems like a good time to reflect on the impact it has had on our lives. I think across the whole city, the war has left us feeling trouble. We were called to service for the sake of righteousness, love for one city, and protecting others. But in the end, we found that these calls were just noble lies, and behind them, the horror of reality thwarted our starry-eyed ideals. We left home as heroes and came home as murderers. Tension leads to a question. Why should we care about right and wrong, or friendliness, as the children's show puts it? Following such things can have a terrible cost. The only reason would be if there was something overarching purpose, some guiding goodness to our wanderings in the world. But that is exactly what an injustice like the war calls into question. Perhaps it's time to put aside these old ideas. Perhaps it's time to look for other sources of hope. Perhaps the wise man is the one who lives for himself. That means nothing. More shotgun ammo. Allow me to... Why can't I? It wouldn't let me reload. Oh, when did I take to... Oh, right, the puppets. The tiny puppets. Uh, can I... It's not working. Well, we tried. We tried. We failed. It's time to go home. All right, we're trapped here. Doomed to... Try and complete our Sisyphean task. Uh, is there anything? There's a lot of just food around. I feel like that's trying to tell me something, potentially. This looks like some sort of puzzle box. But it doesn't actually, it's not interactable at all. Oh god. This is a big room. Uh, you know what, now that we picked up another health potion, I think I am gonna take one. No point to not being healthy. More shotgun shells. Shortgun shells. This looked like actual shortgun shells. I feel like I'm gonna get attacked by something in here. As is the way of things. The Ricky Dance. I wonder what the Ricky Dance is. What that looks like. How does a sock puppet dance? I don't know, but I want to see it. Is there anything? Nope. There is not. There's nothing. There's never anything. I learned my numbers when I was a kid. 
Okay, I hear Leonard. Fuck you, Leonard. Okay, well, that is a diamond door. Oh boy. Is there anything? Come and get me, George. And by come and get me, I mean stay right where you are, diamond door. Not a diamond door. And with as much tape as we have, I'm just gonna use it liberally. Because we keep finding more of it. Yep, see? Never punished. Never, never actually punished. Uh, I think that was just... Oh, map, thank God. Oh, we found it. We finally found a map. Oh, there was something else in that office. Uh, where are we now? We're in the executive hallway? Oh, we're in the office buildings. This is a really fancy office building. Dang. Uh, but now that we have found a map, and this is a relatively safe room, that does seem like a good place to leave it for this time. Just double check really quick. Yep, okay, so our next order of business, I guess, is visiting the mezzanine. But now, next time, we are going to continue our exploration of the office building, and at some point, hopefully, find a diamond or triangle key that seems to be keeping us from opening many of the doors that we want. We do have a velvet mask that, now that I think about it, I haven't examined. Whose face is this? Could have been used in a play or a horror movie. You know, that tracks. Uh, but yeah, until next time, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye! Now how do I get out of here? <laughs>